This is the beginning of part four and final part of the video walkthrough on the block module. So here we are in our uh, block page. I, I'm just gonna walk you through the basic settings of the of the block module itself because we have not done that yet. So if I if I go to the uh, action menu in the uh, blog posts uh, in the blog list. Now I just have to go to the module options. And here I can see uh, that I can configure a lot of different aspects of, of the of the blog uh, module itself. So uh, for instance, we can make again lots of options here. I'm just going to cover a couple of them. We can make uh, entry summary mandatory. So we have a checkbox for that. If we are auto-generating the summary, you can limit how many characters. We can limit how many characters uh, we will have uh, when doing a search. Limit the, the, the size, the width of, of an image that can be uploaded. Limit the recent entries to, in our case here we have 10. We can increase that to 20 to how, uh, the number that we wish to use. The, the most recent RSS entries as well. Um, we can also choose to show avatars. Uh, this is the image dimensions. Uh, this is the full image in case because uh, the mo blog module uses takes your email, the email that you are doing the comment or the email that I'm posting, and it will check uh, against Gravatar. Gravatar is a is a site that hosts uh, avatars. So this is Gravatar's website. If if the user who's posting a blog post has an account there, it will check against their email and it will bring automatically their their avatar uh, that is hosting Gravatar. Uh, in the in the post list, it will allow or not to show title. It will allow people to add hyperlinks in the comments, allow image in the comments or not. It's not checked this option. Allow basic format in contents, in comments. Now, SEO settings very important. This is very, very important if you are worried about SEO. Show unique titles. That's uh, we should we should keep that uh, with uh, with those um, options like a show SEO friendly URL. It will add the the post title in the URL for the that blog post. Very important for SEO. Um, in regards to RSS settings. It, it uh, there's an option that uh, you can include the body or not, include the category, include the, the tag. This is the cache option. Um, at, under advanced setting, it's important to notice the enable a DNS search. If this option is, ch is checked, the default uh, this default uh, DNS search will also search the blog entries. Um, enable social bookmarking. That's uh, interesting if you want to be uh, that other people uh, bookmark your post in the uh, social bookmarking uh, websites. And those are basically the options that I wanted to cover. Well, there are more options here, but you can you can take your time to explore them a little bit better. I'm just going to click update here. We're back to the main page. The other thing that I want to show is where is the RSS feed of this of this. Uh, uh, blog uh, module and here it is I can go to the blog list module under the action menu and I can edit blog settings if mistaken this is right here and I can uh, check the syndicate option for this uh, blog I can just update at the button and an RSS feed icon should show up see it's showing up now Right here in the in the post, and also besides the 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 blog, the blog list. Okay, so basically this was a walkthrough of the blog module, showing all the different modules that are that compose the 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 blog module comes together with the blog module and some of their basic settings, more advanced settings. Again, I I, I invite you to download this module, install it, try it by yourself. Again, lots of different modules, lots of different ways to set it up. Uh, you can again change all of this uh, layout that you that you are seeing here if if it doesn't apply to your situation. But again, this was a basic walkthrough of the blog module in .NET Nook. Thank you very much. Bye.